Hey everyone, this is Nathan Haig from AustraliaWow.com.au and I have a killer marketing tip for you tonight, digital style as I like to do and it's for you Mac users only I'm afraid. Now Windows users, I've got your back, I'll do it on a later video but for tonight or tomorrow or today or whenever you're actually watching this video, should have thought that one through, um, this is how I'm going to show you how to do the following. Now you might be using Skype on a daily basis as your main communications weapon of choice when you're doing your seminars with one-on-one -on -one training or nutrition or however you're using Skype, wouldn't it be cool if at the bottom of the screen, just like a newsreader, you could have your name, your company name, maybe your graphic, right? And then also maybe like a block of color or fancy schmancy flash, just to make yourself look like double professional. Wouldn't it be cool if you could do that on Skype? Wouldn't it be better if you could do it for free? All right, you go, oh my God, that sounds awesome. Let me show you what I'm talking about and how to do that. So here we go. You're a Mac user, so just visit camtwist.com and download it from the link there, install it, and then run it. So let's do that right now. I've run it. So you'll get the menu that comes up. First thing I want you to do is I want you to click on the tools and then click on the preview. All right, and a big black box will probably come up. And you go, well, that, that pushes the computer to its limits. Nice, well done. So what you want to do is I want you to make sure that you double click the webcam, okay? And what it does, it brings it into play. It puts it on the right hand side here on the step three, and then I come onto your screens like this. All right, so make sure that when you click on the webcam in step three, the settings for the effects that you're going to be adding okay, will then pop up in the right hand side. So just make sure that you click on the webcam and you click on the FaceTime camera. All right, pretty easy stuff. And you go, well, that's great, but now I need my name. And I go, well, fear not, let me show you. So you'll scroll down the effects list, you'll come onto the text, and you'll double click it. Watch what happens. Hello, world. And you go, right, yeah, right, whatever. So you'll click on the text in step three, and then on the string, you'll get rid of the hello, world, and you'll just put in your name. All right, capitalize the first letters, good tip, makes you look professional, right? And then you can choose the font name, and there's a billion fonts just there. And if you can use Microsoft Word, you can use this effect. It's pretty simple. Choose the font size, the color, blah blah blah. Leave the shadow in the background. I tend to find, you know, when you mess around with those, it goes a little bit pear-shaped. All right, so just leave those. Okay, now here's the thing. You see this little nodule thing here? All right, you will then click it, keep it down, okay, and then move it around the screen, the position where you'd like it to be, right? So let's just go, oh, yeah, just put it to about, about there, all right? And you go, that's great, but now, Nathan, I would like my website. And I go, cool. So you'll add another text. So double-click the text, okay, and then just click on that one. Get rid of the Hello World again, all right, and then just type in your website, okay, which is always good. Always have your website, anything that you possibly do, all right? So let's make it a little bit smaller. And again, let's nudge the position down, all right, and we'll put it underneath that one, okay. Boom, happy days. Now, here we go. Now this is a little bit more complex, nothing you can't handle, right? Let me show you. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to log into my software, okay? And there's a reason for me doing this. Let me just log on to australiawow.com.au because this is all part of it. So let me just go ahead and log in because you're gonna have to do exactly the same thing. Well, not to my website, but if you want your logo now to appear, all right, in your Skype videos we're doing, what you're gonna to have to do, let's go back to the program, all right, and we're gonna to have to put the, I will show you where it is right now, what effect do you need? I will show you. And what you do is you go the image downloader, all right, so this puts your logo on the screen. So double click, puts the image downloader, right? Now, this is why I get you to like look at your own website, all right? Because you'd want to find where your logo is. So let's go ahead and find mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where my logo is on my screen on my website, and they go, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to choose the copy image URL. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the program up again. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me just uh, do me preview back. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Hello world, apparently. All right. And what I'm going to do is that image URL that I've just copied, click on the image downloader, go into the URL on the right hand side, and then just simply paste it in there. All right. And then OK. Now what's going to happen is, there you go. All right. You can make the image. This is coming live and direct from your internet website now. OK. So let's make that a little bit smaller. 
Okay, so the scale, I'm just moving it left and right, you know, no big deal. Then I'm going to position it on the screen. So if I click it, hold it, as you can see, there you go. All right, and that's that's that. All right, so now we've got all the cool stuff on the screen. Now, one of the things I kind of like to do as well, all right, is I like to add a, a solid block of color sometimes, all right? So scroll down and, funnily enough, check the solid color. So go ahead and double click that. All right, big box of solid color. Would you Adam and Eve it? So what you do is, again, let's just move that down the screen, okay? And the width, we're going to make that a little bit higher, okay? Make the width, make it a little bit, uh, like we'll go all the way across the screen, to be fair. All right. Now, you go, well, it's just like overdone all the rest of me effects. And I go, don't worry about it. So what happens is you would actually then go to the solid color, and then you would click it, and then you would move it up. Okay, so it's there, and then everything else, is, you can see, is on top. So it goes, basically, the order is set the webcam. Okay, then set your solid color, then set your text, then set your other text, and then the image downloader. And that really is how simple it is. Now, all right, once you've done that, rather than go through that rigmarole again when you reboot your computer, because it will be lost, what you need to do is then save the setup. So click that, and we're going to go, well, this is a demo, all right. Choose the save selection only. Okay, untick, this is important, untick the don't include video source. You want to include the video source. So untick, so that's how you do it. And then you click on save, all right, boom. Okay, now every time you restart your computer, all right, you will need to start the Cam Twist program. Okay, really important, because every time you reboot, this all gets lost. So you'll restart Cam Twist, as soon as you turn the computer on again, or reboot it. You will then, at this point, have a saved setup, well, we hope so anyway. So here's what I prepared earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear everything, right, yeah, get rid of everything there. All right, here's what I prepared earlier. This is my proper Australia Wear one that I use. I double click, all right. And I'm going to bring everything into play. So even though they're selected, as you can see, all right, let me bring them all into play. Okay. And I've got an extra special crispy one for you guys. All right. Oh, hang on. Damn it. Let me do that again. All right, well done, Knife. All right, try it. Okay, try that again. So let me do that one again. And then I bring everything into play. Everything into play. As you can see, it's building up on the screen on the left-hand side. Now, the webcam, this might happen to you. Okay, so you just go, oh, no, my webcam's not working. That's okay. Click it. No cameras found, just bring it back into play and choose the FaceTime. Here we go. All right. Now, there's an extra load of writing on my screen, and this is really awesome. Okay. Sometimes, you know, if you use Twitter consistently, like I do, sometimes it's nice when you're talking to someone to have like tweets appear on the screen as you're talking. So you never miss like tweets as they come in as well. So this is a bit more advanced and it's a bit more geeky, all right, but it's very good when you're doing hangouts or webinars or whatever. Someone can actually ping you, right, on your Twitter channel, on your hashtag, and it will appear on the screen as you can see and you go how do you do that so what you would do is you would like scroll down the effects and you would choose the Twitter all right now I select that you use the actual Twitter search because then what you do all right so we'll double click that and add it here's one I prepared earlier all right and on the right hand side you would get your people your webinar people viewers etc to like send tweets and hashtag it with the specific term that you're searching for don't worry if you don't really understand this at like twitter etc i get that this is just for you like more advanced players out there as well so what happens is you can actually put your twitter stream or a search hashtag query here as you can see hashtag australia wow and then if you're doing your webinar etc and people are like tweeting you their questions providing they put that hashtag in there guess what all this stuff like appears on, on the left hand side if I do this way oh this way oh that way <laughs> you can see all these tweets just here all right these are people that have like sent me tweets and stuff these are the very latest tweets and as you can see every five seconds on the refresh time so the, the whole system is going to be like pinging out to you like hashtag it's going to be searching and then every five seconds refreshing the screen awesome killer tip for when you're doing like twitter based stuff right and like seminars where they can as i say like send in the tweets to you awesome stuff but in this case i'm not going to do that it's going to take the twitter off so just unselect it there we go so this is actually what you're seeing now all right what the dealio is now the last piece of the puzzle 
right, is you go, well, now, how do I make that work with Skype? And I go, valid question. So what you do is you'll open up your Skype, okay, pretty easy stuff, and this is where it gets a little bit easier for you as well. We'll log in, yay, happy days. Okay, so you'll go to your Skype, as soon as it's decided to work. All right, so click on Skype, click on Preferences, and you will see the audio and the video, all right? And you will basically see down the camera. Now, at the moment, it's the FaceTime camera. It's built in. You'll want to go ahead and select the cam twist. And there we go. All right. So now this is what your viewers all right, will be seeing when they're giving you a call. Now, don't worry about it being back to front. It's back to front for you, but it's not back to front for the actual people like watching you at the other end of your Skype call. Okay, so from this point forward, guys, this is just awesome to make yourself look really super professional. So just set up the cam twist as I've shown you. Okay, select the camera to be the cam twist camera like here in 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 Skype. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and save that in Skype. And now whenever you make a phone call, you can go ahead and, and get rid of the preview I hasten to add from cam twist. Get rid of that. Okay, but don't just minimize the cam twist. Don't ever close it. All right, so now when you actually make phone calls, etc., your Skype stuff now is going to be reflected in the cam twist camera with your logo, your website, everything to do with you. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed tonight. It's been really cool. Um, and so that's how to make yourself look even professional. For more killer marketing digital tips, have a look at our YouTube site. Yeah, that's youtube.com forward slash Australia Wow Software, all one word. And you can see some more really cool videos like this. Hope to see you there. Cheerio.